Uh, in this next lecture, I'm going to go over um, functions. So, when you first we start off with your int main, right? That itself is a function. So, if you look at the parts of the function, remember from before talking about the return value? You're always returning something in a function, whether it be, well, I shouldn't say that. You can have void functions, or you can have functions that return and accept values, or functions that just don't return anything but accept values. But basically, when, when I've been trying to teach you guys in my past few lectures, is to always include this int main, and then always return uh, include a return value. Um, we're always returning something in my, in my lectures, and we're, we're always accepting something, even though it may be nothing. Basically, when you look at the first parts of a um, function, um, you, you have an int, you have the type that uh, it returns. That's the int. That's the, um, that comes first in the, in the name of the function, the header. Um, then you have the main, well, the name of the function, which is main in this case. And then inside the brackets, the parameters. What this does, it's the, um, it's what um, variables it accepts. So, if you say, for example, I do int n, right? It's basically accepting n value, which is an int. Okay, so what basically what functions do is they really they, they take some variables or whatever, and then they do something to them, and then they spit them out. That's your return value. You spit them out, which is your return value. So just say you accept int n, and just say inside this function you put um. You put in sum, pick another value uh, variable in sum. So you do in uh, or sum is equal to n times a hundred, and then you can just return return sum. Instead of returning zero, you return sum in this case. So what will happen is you um, you accept n right, you accept whatever the value n is. And I'll show you how to accept values in the first place, but you accept the value n, what happens is you uh, multiply that with 100, you stick that into sum. You made sum inside this function, so you, and then you return sum. So you return whatever that value is. n is not changed. n is not changed at all. Just sum is changed. You're, you're using n, you're manipulating n for, um, the, for the sums case. So you're returning sum to whatever you called it. And okay, in order to call it, right, first of all, you're making your uh, function in the first place. The program will always start in the main. So it will always go to it first. It will always start in the main. To call a function, um, you want to you want to put the name of the function first. So I'm going to create a new function. I'm going to call it. What should I call this? Okay, I'm going to put another function in change. Into change. Give me my real function here. Um, int n. Okay, and accept an integer um, called int n, and then I'll do some crazy stuff with it. Okay, the main function is not going to return anything. I'll just take the cell, return something, like that. and I'll do it in the change function. So I'll do um, sum int sum is equal to zero inside the change function, and then I'm gonna start manipulating n. So I'll take n in. So I'll do sum is equal to say n times 100 plus 3 divided by 2, whatever. Put a bunch of stuff to it. And then I'm going to return some value. Nothing is happening to n. n is staying the same. So I'll return the sum value. You only return one, you only return once in a function. You can't return multiple, you can't return multiple um, variables at once. Well, there's only one return statement. I'm going to take this out. It means, so, the way to call this is to basically declare it 10. Hold on. Make n like 5. See what happens. So 10 equals 5. To call it, basically, the name of it, so change in brackets, what do you want to pass? Okay, basically what I did, I, I did change some stuff up a bit. Um, I made a sum2 um, variable, right? An integer sum2 inside the main function. And what I did 
is I made that equal to to change and then in brackets n. What's happening is when you're doing change, you first you instate that change bracket bracket. That's basically calling the change function. Okay, I made the change function separate. It's calling it, right? It's calling it, and then inside the brackets is what you're passing to the function. You don't have to specify what it is. You don't have to specify if it's an int or not. You're already declaring that right above. So I put sum two is equal to change, and then bracket and bracket, and then finish that off with semicolon. So after I called change function, it goes straight into the change function, right? Notice I said sum two is equal to this. Notice I said that. That means whatever value I get out of there, it's plugged into sum two. Whatever value I return, it's put into sum two. Um, so sum two is equal to whatever that value is. So I go into the change function. Let's watch this first. Int change. What's that telling me? Well, it's telling me that I'm returning an int. Okay. Inside the brackets for int change, I see an int n. So what's happening there? That means I'm accepting int n value. Or oh, I'm accepting whatever the th whatever the value I'm getting past, and I'm calling it n. For the sake of easiness, I'm just going to call it the same thing I, that I passed it. So um, inside of it, I'm making a new um, integer called sum. Uh, I'm setting that to zero, and I'm making sum equal n times 100 plus 3 divided by 2. Okay, whatever. So that's whatever that is. Uh, 3 divided by 2 is what's that's 1. So I'm using uh, integers here. So whatever. 5 times 100 plus 1, 5 and 1. And then I'm returning the sum. So, um, whenever you return sum, you go right back to where you called it, and then, as you can see, I have sum 2 is equal to return sum. Basically, that's what I'm saying. Basically, sum 2 is equal to sum. But they're in different uh, functions, so that's how they communicate, using um, call, caller. So after I do that, um, that's it. I print out sum 2. And as you see here, I get uh, 501. Um, it can get complicated. You can um, pass several at once. You can pass several uh, variables at once. It's easily separated by just a comma. So, if I want to pass, let's say uh, I'll make another integer. I'll make it. I'll make it n. Let's say I make an int n or m. Sorry, that make that equal to six. When I call the change, when I instate the change. Uh, function. I'm going to do, um, after the end there, I'm going to do a comma, and I'll stick an M. What that does, it passes the end, it passes the end. But you have to change it over here, you have to go back to the end change, and you have to, we, we see the int N in brackets, put another comma there, and then just simply just stick int N. You can actually call this int anything you want. You can call it int whatever, whatever, you can call it int whatever. That's still going to be M, it's still, M is still put into that function. It's just renaming it. That's all it's doing. When you're putting int n, you're renaming it anyways. You're renaming it the exact same name, but you're still renaming it. You're still calling it something different. You can just call it in whenever, whatever, but you can still have that m value. It doesn't really matter, but I'm going to keep it m for the sake of this lecture. Maybe future lectures, I'll show you guys different types of um, manipulation. Um, basically, you can use m as much as you want. You're still only returning one uh, value. You can do n times m plus 100, whatever. It doesn't matter. Still going to you only use one return value, it's still going to be plugged into sum. Return sum, it'll go back into sum too. You can have as many as you want. You can have as many um, as many as you want. You can you can pass you can pass strings, you can pass characters, you can pass characters with integers, you can pass doubles with integers. It's very, very it's easy, it's very easy. It's very um, I don't know, makes it very easy for you. Instead of programming everything in one main function, you create several small functions to do simple tasks, and you could call them mul multiple times, right? You can still reuse the same function. You can keep calling it if you want. Um, it's very easy to manipulate uh, different integers with functions. Um, that's what all I have to tell you for today. Um, next time I'll be going into um, arrays, uh, possibly covering pointers in the future, sorry. Um, so stick around, subscribe, and uh, have a good day.